I was kind of down on my luck, not having access to galleries and stuff like that. Then Puma hit me up, and that became, to me, like a sensation or something. I was like, is the email real? And she was like, you can do anything you want. We just need lots of color and lots of positivity. And I was like, that's perfect. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. It just kind of started happening. And I had literally three days. It was crazy, you know, to get that up, you know, with the Pumas and different faces and that represent Maz and my travels in Africa. I wanted them to feel the message of unity and, and color and happiness, like New York again. Things like art, they also bring us together, you know, opposed to separating us. I believe in opening the chakra. The third eye is something that we got to all tap in to really understand compassion and consciousness. And I'm also a photographer, and I believe the eyes are the roots to the soul, you know, and when I use that, it, it is something to connect. I want that eye to almost follow you, make it feel like you're real, basically, like it's coming alive at some aspect. Not that it's judging you, but just to know that there's a presence there, you know? Are you listening? That's something that I heard in chants and it's been coming around a lot more. And when I heard it, it just was a connection and I wrote it and I think it kind of just came from just being aware of what's been happening and is anybody really listening? I think that's obviously the question of the year right now. I think we gotta be better listeners at this point. I stayed aware and I knew art was the, the main priority. You know, if I can always express myself and during these times, I think it was very important you know, to stand up and also be a leader, a natural leader in these situations to also express myself. And if you have opportunities where you can financially help, you know, situations, I think that's, that's empowerment and that's important to the future. So I definitely made that happen. Then Puma did the paperwork and the organization is called One Wonder. They based out of Brooklyn. They deal with underprivileged children and school systems, you know, to help them get better education and stuff like that. To me, that was another reason why I did it, you know, to help financially with something that I had Create it, you know, and that's what we have to do as artists. We got to be better leaders. I believe when you do good things, you know, things come back even better. This was amazing, just me painting that, you know, having a surface and canvas that big. To me, it was groundbreaking, you know, for that opportunity. I never could imagine myself on Fifth Avenue painting a mural, you know, and on a boarded store like Puma, you know, during these times. And I'm very grateful, you know, and I believe, you know, when you do things to help people, you can't look for things in return also. I just want to keep putting good things in the universe and that's really what it's about. Sometimes you gotta just put good things around people and hopefully they react to the good things. If you just constantly just put little ideas out there for people, people will eventually catch on. And you know, hopefully things just go back to normal, really. Right now I think we're in a, we're in a different stage. I think people accepted the worst. I think we getting past corona. I think we understanding the worst was here and now we just gotta become better and stronger like we was. Artists, you got, your job is kinda to be a creator and you gotta find ways to create different mediums. And I have done that in ways from digitally to painting to music to photography. I believe they all are just forms of expression. When you understand expression, it just kind of come naturally. So it's just my same journey, but I just feel like I'm getting the opportunities that I deserve and I'm just pushing my agenda.